you'd think that'd be pretty obvious or pretty simple, but it's really not. There are a lot of things that are happening in our lives every day that it's just, you take it for granted. It's, it's what, part of what I call our wallpaper. You, you wake up in the morning, at least when school's in, the bus is coming, you make that assumption. You make the assumption that uh, you're going to be able to get to where you're going safely. You make the assumption, certainly, that you're not going to wake up in the morning and you're not going to have someone from a foreign nation forcing you out of your home or conducting a search that violates your constitutional rights. All of these these assumptions, now you're probably thinking, man, he's, he's getting really basic here. I just want to point out that we really do have a lot of, of great freedoms that we, we've grown up in that. It's, be, it's really part of our wallpaper. We have that luxury. I've been places and worked with people that they were serving in the military. You certainly knew that person. You knew them as an individual, and you loved them, and you would mourn their loss. And there's a lot of families across our nation that have had that. But for someone who doesn't have a, a, a relative or an immediate uh, friend that you've lost, I think we look at the military a lot of times in, in large terms. It's what are they, uh, what are they showing on the news, uh, whether it's good or bad. You think of it as a large group of people, and the military is a large group of people with several, several broad focuses and, and some narrow. So, I, here's how I would describe, based on my, the people that I worked with and the people that I encountered over 21 years. Uh, I already described them as inspiring and outstanding, and they certainly are that. But getting to understanding who, who, who these folks are, and I'm going to apply these, uh, what I'm describing to the veterans that have died for, for the last 235 years, simply because so far in my life I've realized that even though we may have newer cars, we have cell phones, and uh, whatever the technology is, human beings are typically the same people overall. Uh, we, we can get ill. We want to provide for our families. And also capable, capable people that are strong and able to handle it with the emotional and the physical and the mental stress that comes with what they're asked to do. In fact, uh, to, I was curious about if, if I could find some statistics on age for veterans, and I'm going to cover three three recognized conflicts, three recent ones. 